back to my channel um i am very sorry about the quality of this because, because i'm currently filming at 9 50 and my phone is retarded it's 9 50 and i'm currently filming and i'm in georgia oh yeah bt dubs it's snowing well not anymore but it, it snowed like last night like yesterday at like 11 o'clock in the morning I was like actually switching classes at school and it just started snowing out of nowhere I'm like oh my gosh it's snowing to so my friends because it was waiting for me at my car and we just all got like really happy until today they called off school like I said we live in Georgia y'all and so it doesn't snow here so we're not equipped for the snow like our tires aren't built for that so like our school buses can't do like function correctly so basically for safety reasons they cancel school I don't have school tomorrow either so basically I'm just going to be going to school Friday but the roads aren't that bad to like tomorrow so yeah but that's enough rambling but um this video is about is my 25 things about me yes this was requested and I do thank you so much for actually requesting this video and actually just requesting in general because, you know, some of y'all kind of don't leave me feedback, but you who did, I am so thankful. I don't know your name right now, but I'll, um, hold on. I'm going to look for it. Where are you? Because you just commented on one of my recent videos. And I'm so glad that you did. Okay, your name is, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Your name is Brielle or Be Real. Brielle, I don't know. And 15976. Um, you asked me, can you do a 25 things about yourself? And that is what this video is, 25 things about me. So, this is for you, girl. Shout outs to you. Um, so let's get started with number one. <clears throat> Ouch, you guys. Like, oh, my earring hurts for some reason. Okay, so number one, I'm 18 years old. Oh, sorry if I'm looking down. I have my phone because I have to write these things down because I don't want this video to be everywhere. Okay, but back to the video. Number one, I'm 18 years old. Yes, I'm 18. Well, a lot of people tell me I look older than 18. Or, like, when I was younger, they used to think I was 18. But I am very curvy. Like, I have a big butt and I have thighs and, like, hips. And I don't know if that's what people what makes people think I'm older than what I am because my body is very curvy. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm 18. Legal. Number two. I am a strong believer in Zodiacs. Um, I believe that it's, that the things they say match up with people to a certain extent. Some things, well, no, I just said I do agree. Like how zodiac describe how people how zodiacs describe like certain signs. Like a Libra, I'm very fair, and I do see that in myself. That I'm a very, very, very fair person, and I love for justice. And like I never take nobody's side. I, you know, it's always, I'm always taking the right side. Like, whatever is right, that's just me. And I'm very loving. Um, number three. I love, 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 love singing. But I can't sing. Like, I'll insert something, like, right here. You stick out there, Reverend. Like, I can't sing. But I sing 24-7, for real. Like, in class, I'm always singing. And people are like, ugh, ugh. I'm like, I don't care. Like, girl, shut up. Boy, bye. I don't care. Like, I love singing. Um, my birthday is October 10th. Yes, Libra Nation. I'm an October baby. The best month ever is October the funnest month ever in my um number five you can't really see it but 
Well, maybe you can a little bit. Y'all see that little line right there? And it's a dark one right there, too. And y'all really can't see this one, but it's one right here also. But, yeah. I have that line on my nose because at night I do this. Like, I push my nose up and, like, I rub it around really, 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 really hard. And... I've actually spent a night at people's house, and they'll be like, okay, so, you, like, you woke up in the middle of the night and just started rubbing your nose, like, so hard. Like, I heard it. <laughs> I was like, what? But, I mean, I I do know I do that because I've caught myself. I'm sorry about this pimple, y'all. It's bothering me. It just popped up literally today. But I was rubbing my nose, like, in my sleep, and I actually woke up one time. And I actually do kind of cause myself to have nosebleeds because I do that. Like in the middle of the night. But I haven't really been doing it recently. So I don't know. I think I probably I just grown out of it or something. So yeah. And because like a lot of people. If I don't like when I don't wear makeup. Or like at least face makeup or something. People are like why do you have that line on your nose? What's that for? What, what's that from? What happened? And I'm like I'm nothing. I, I just. I've had it ever since I was little. That's That's why it's just so normal to me. And, like, uh, like, my cousin has it because she sucks her thumb and, like, pushes up her nose. So, she has it like that. But, yeah, I have a line on my nose. Um, okay, number six. When I was little, well, not really little because I just got rid of him in ninth grade. I had a little chihuahua. He's so tiny. His name was Chico. Yes, like the name, the dog's name from Friday. Next Friday, I'm in. I was on, like, what, seven? Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of people come to me with like for advice, and I'm really good at giving advice. But when it comes to me, I can't. I don't take my own, which is weird. I'm eight. I'm the only girl out of four boys, and I am the baby girl at that. Like I'm the youngest. Nine. People always think I'm like stuck up <clears throat> but I'm not <laughs> like it's so weird because like okay so like I'm very laid back like for real like we can chill we just chillax that's all I like to do is kick it oh yeah okay so number 10 um a lot of my male friends they like they tend to tell me they I f they're more comfortable with me like I'm one of them like I'm one of the guys and so that often leads to me hearing a lot of stuff about a lot of girls unfortunately but yeah um 11 I don't think I'm dramatic but my mom has told me I'm very dramatic. My boyfriend has told me I'm very dramatic. I guess because those are the two people that I feel comfortable with. My friends don't tell me I'm dramatic. Maybe because they're dramatic. <laughs> that could be the only problem with that one. So yeah, my mom tells me I'm dramatic and my boyfriend tells me I'm dramatic. So I guess I'm dramatic. And my friends are dramatic too because we all kind of act alike. So yeah. Um, so that was number 11. Okay, yeah, I love, I'm obsessed with reading, like, urban fiction, like, um, like, Wahida Clark, I love her Thug series, um, I'm, like, obsessed with that book, with that series, not book, I cannot wait for her to come out with the other one, like, the next one, I, like, put a post a picture of one of her books like probably my favorite book out of there so yeah and my favorite characters is characters or and couple is angel and caitlin even though tasha i like tasha and trey's story a little but mainly caitlin and angel they're cute so oh yeah and i love to write also like this goes together reading and writing i am a beast at I can read all day, which is kind of bad because I literally won't go to sleep at night if I'm reading the book at night until I get, like, 
I have fallen asleep with the book <laughs> in my hand, literally. So, yeah, that's kind of not good. And if I'm reading, like, during the day, I'll read the whole day, literally. And I won't eat. Like, my stomach will be growling. But I will not eat. Like, <laughs> that's kind of really bad. But once it gets to, like, that unbearable level, that's when I literally have to eat. That's really bad. And writing... Like, I've never failed a writing test ever at school, even though the topics are so lame. It's just hard for me to fill out writing because I'm just so good. Not being cocky, but it's actually just something I love to do. I actually write stories of my own. I have 600 um, page, yeah, I have like 300 page stories. I have a story actually that I'm in the middle of writing now and everything. I just love, love, love to write. And 13, I am only five feet tall. Is that crazy to y'all? Five feet, yes. I am Kourtney Kardashian's height. A lot of y'all might think she's not that short because she's on TV and we don't, you don't see her in person. But trust me, if you know someone five feet, <laughs> or at least like around five and a half, five one, you know how small I am. It was crazy because I actually just got this new substitute teacher who is five feet and a half. And when she, she was sitting on the desk at first and when she got down, I was like, I was like, whoa, this is what I look like. <laughs> like people, people tell me all the time, Chris, oh my gosh, you're so small. You're so small. And I'm like, really? I don't, I don't feel that small. I mean, I've been this side like all my life so yeah I haven't grown since like the seventh grade probably so I don't know really how small I am maybe I'm like a little chihuahua like you know I got the small dog syndrome <laughs> like I think I'm a big dog I don't know um 14 I'm obsessed with um like 90s Disney movies like, I'm obsessed with Aladdin, Lion King. Um, I'm obsessed with Aladdin, Lion King, Little Mermaid, and Cinderella. 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 In that order. I can watch these movies over and over and over again. I love the movies so much. They're my favorite. I hold them dear to my heart. I had to get the remake of Aladdin. And I had to get the remake of Lion King. Did they come out with a remake of The Little Mermaid? I think they did, but I didn't get that, and I didn't get the Cinderella one. But trust me, I watch them all the time on the internet. So when I do find them, though, I will be buying Cinderella and The Little Mermaid's new re-edition re or whatever. Because I would actually like to have those for my kids one day. Because I grew up on those, and I just felt that, you know, that really made my childhood. Oh, yeah, and I love the show Sailor Moon. I told y'all I love Jap... Is that Japanese? I think that's Japanese cartoon. I love, love, love Sailor Moon. Like, I was so upset because I lost all my old Sailor Moon movies. And trust me, I had a lot. Like, I lost them in my move. So, number 15. I've, is it bad? But I've owned two cars already. Meh. I don't know if that's good, bad, or spoiled, but I'm not spoiled at all. Um, 16. I really, really, really despise and really hate when people talk about other people's materialistic things. Like, like you know when people just talk down on somebody because say they're, well, not say anything, but um, if you're dressed better than somebody or if you have Ugg boots, if you wear trues, if you wear Jordans all the time, don't talk about somebody who doesn't. First off, because you're not paying for that. Your parents are. Until you make your own money and you can buy something, honestly, that still doesn't give you a right to talk about anybody because that's just rude and insensitive and mean. And you're only doing that to make yourself feel better. Like... People like that really piss me off, and I do oftentimes chomp them off. Like, if you feel that way about what they're wearing, go buy them something new. Why are you sitting here trying to talk bad about these people? Like, that really bothers me so bad. So, yeah, never do that around me. 
Um, 17, I have a really small circle of friends, and it gets smaller as my life has progressed. And I don't mind, because honestly, I'm kind of like a by-myself type of person anyway. Um, 18. I am in love with the Asian culture. Like, for real. I would love to move to Japan for like a year because I just want to experience a culture shock. And I just feel like those are one of the places I would love to go. So yeah, I am in love with Asian anything. I love Asian food. I love Asian people. I think they're the most gorgeous people on the world and the whole planet. And I just love everything about them. Like, you can't tell me anything else. And um, so, number 19, finally, we're, we're getting close to being done. And this video is almost 30 minutes long. 24, actually. <clears throat> so, 19. I have a super bionic nose. Um, so, 20. I'm a cheerleader. Well, I was. Because my season's over. I cheered for football and competition. I did that for two years. Football for two years. So, yeah. That's for my high school. I won't be cheering in college. Because the college I go to isn't... They don't. I don't know anything about their sports. And I just... I'm not there to do that, so, yeah. My main focus is just going to be on YouTube and work and school. Excuse me. I burped. Um, 21. I'm not really a neat freak. Like, I clean up on my own time. Like, I literally have to get tired of the mess myself before I clean it up. <laughs> but one thing that has to be clean or at least get cleaned once a week or maybe even twice or more because if it's that bad, I have to do it. But I have to keep my car clean. Like, it has to be spotless. I don't. I get upset when my car is dirty. It's like an OCD. I can't. Like, I can't. I just can't function. See, like, I'm 22. I can watch Think Like a Man over and over and over and over. Like, I just can't get tired of that movie at all. And, like, because I feel like I keep saying and, like, so much. But whatever. I love Taraji's and Michael's story. Especially because they played tonight. Like, what? And he drove a Mercedes? Both of them were. That's my favorite car. I used to hate Mercedes because I thought they were basic. Like, I, thought, I think BMWs are basic and I will never get a BMW. I think... I used to think Mercedes are basic, but I love Mercedes now. But I, the reason I thought those two were just, uh, I didn't like them, because I thought they were the Toyota and Honda of the rich people world. Come on. Everyone drives those. But my Mercedes is going to be fly when I get mine. <sighs> okay, yeah. 23. I had to sleep on my side, on my left side, or my stomach. Whenever I go to sleep or I literally cannot go to sleep, if I'm on my right side or on my back, well, no, I can't fall asleep on my back. I'll wake up on my back, but I don't think I can fall asleep like that. So I have to be on my left side or my stomach. Um, and 24. I'm pretty easy going and level headed. Like it don't take a it it takes kind of a lot to get me mad. But when I get there, trust me. I'm blowing a roof off the place. Off rip, I don't care. Like it's rap once I get there. Okay? Cause some crazy stuff is finna happen. Just so you know. <clears throat> But that doesn't really happen. And it takes a long time for me to get there. Like, <laughs> that can get really annoying, I know. Sorry. Okay. Last and foremost. Is that even how you say that? Last and foremost? I don't know. Okay. But I'm just going to say the last one. 25. I love little kids. 
like playing with him. Like me and my little cousin playing my little cousin. She's like, she's not really little, but she is little. She's like six. Her name is Camille. And like, I love playing with her because like her imagination, like all kids imagination, because I'm actually in an early childhood class. Like their imagination is so out there. It's crazy. And I like it because it's, it's just fun. I mean, mm -hmm. that's it. Thanks once again, Brielle. Um, one, five, nine, six. Thank you for your request for me to do this video. Any of y'all other subbies, y'all just let me know what y'all would like to see. And trust me, I will film it. I don't know when, but I'm going to film it. <laughs> like, I will answer y'all. Well, no. It will get filmed because she only sent me this a week ago. Boom. Her video is already here. Y'all could do the same and y'all's video will be here too. So, let me know. And... You guys, please share these videos. Share my um, channel. Tell your friends. Tell everyone. Come on to my channel. And just check it out. And subscribe, y'all. Thanks for watching. I Y'all, like, I really am so happy for all my new subscribers because I have gotten a lot of new ones. And I'm really happy for everything, you know. I see this channel going far, and y'all are just a part of my journey. So, come along. <laughs> but yeah, y'all know what to do. Like this video. Subscribe to this video. Well, my channel, not this video. <laughs> Comment. I can't hold my pinky. I can't. Comment. Comment on this video. Yeah, there's nothing else I can say. Bye, guys.